to you by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, a ringside commentator. Welterweight champion Emil Griffith of New York takes on middleweight contender Dennis Moyer of Portland, Oregon in tonight's 10-round feature at the Tacoma Washington Sports Arena. This is the rubber match between the two boxers, each having won a previous bout. The 24-year-old Griffith, whose title is not at stake in this over-the-weight match, was born in the Virgin Islands 24 years ago. He regained the title from the late Benny Kid Perret in March and successfully defended against Ralph Dupas in July. Griffith has won 28 of his 31 bouts, dropped three decisions, and knocked out 11. The 23-year-old Moyer once won 20 in a row and, at the age of 19, had a losing shot at the welterweight title. Moyer has won 32 of his 39 bouts, lost seven decisions, and KO'd eight. Moyer is 5 feet 8, while Griffith is 5, 7 and a half. At the Tacoma Athletic Commission weigh-in this morning, Moyer was 158 and a half pounds, and Griffith, the heaviest he ever has been, was 156 and a quarter. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round middleweight fight between Emil Griffith and Dennis Moyer. Now we're all set to go here in Tacoma, Washington, and up we go into the center of the ring and our good friend, Stan Nakaroto. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a George Parnassus presentation under the auspices of the Tacoma Athletic Commission. These matches this evening are under the direct supervision of the Washington State Athletic Commission. The officials, as they will appear this evening, the attending ringside physician, Dr. Robert A. O'Connell. The timekeeper, Jack Bird. Counting for the knockdowns, Harold Bird. The judges this evening, Sam Heller. The other judge, Jack Elick. And the referee for the main event of the evening, Jimmy Rondo. Jimmy Rondo. On behalf of the state of Washington and our wonderful governor, we would like to welcome to the delegates to the 43rd National Boxing Association Convention, Dr. Charles P. Larson is the president. That's Dr. Larson right there behind the I would like to introduce at this time former middleweight champion of the world from the city of Tacoma, Freddie Steele. And he was a real good one. Also, two more Tacoma prominent fighters to be seen very soon in action in this arena. First, Irish Bob McKinney. Got a and our own file. state middleweight champion, Tacoma's own George Wright. Real good fighter, George. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first from Portland, Oregon, weighing 158 and one half pounds, wearing the white trunks with the black stripes, Denny Moyer. Denny Moyer. His opponent, weighing 156 and one quarter pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white stripes, the welterweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith. Well, the rules here are the scoring is on the 10-point must system. There is a mandatory eight count of a man is floored. Three knockdowns in a single round of one fighter, and the fight is terminated as a technical knockout. They're going to wear eight-ounce gloves, and if a man is knocked out in the ring, he's allowed an additional 10 to get back and takes a mandatory 20 count. Moyer is wearing the white trunks and Griffith the black trunks. It's scheduled for 10 rounds or less. Neither boy has ever been knocked out. There's the bell. Griffith has been told to keep his hands up high and his chin down. Moyer, a, a baby face fighter who is much stronger than he looks, particularly on the inside. I'm told that by Griffith himself. Oh. 
Griffith is over 11 pounds heavier than he was when he fought against Dupas in July. He was 145 then. The previous high weight for Griffith was 154 for a bout against Johnny Torres in the Virgin Islands. Big crowd here in the Tacoma Sports Arena. Very silent at the moment. Both of these boys have all the equipment, including good knowledge of ring warfare. And there's Moyer bleeding from the nose already, and that usually happens. He has no record, however, of ever having been cut around the eyes. Moyer usually bleeds around the nose. Jimmy Rondo, the very capable referee. Punch out, punch your way out. Now this is the earliest I've ever seen Moyer's nose bleed and uh, it probably will affect his breathing. There's one minute to go in round one. punches and landing them. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Round two at the Tacoma Sports Event. Dennis Moyer, the white trunks. Emil Griffith, the black trunks. Schedule for 10, the referee, Jimmy Rondo. Griffith won the first fight between these two, and then Moyer took the second. Two minutes to go in round two. At times, the fighters neutralize each other. They know each other so well. Both good boxers. going to be a question whether the extra weight that Griffith is carrying will help or hinder him. Only the future moments of the bow will tell that. Less than a minute to go in round two. Uh, 
uh, Griffith to the punch that time, and a good solid one. Two nearly over. There's the bell ending round two. Let's go back to the corner with the Rollaway champion, Emil Griffith. Griffith was born in the Virgin Islands on February 3rd, 1938. In his corner, his co managers, Howard Albert, leaning in from the right hand side, and Gil Clancy facing him from the center. Clancy, a school teacher, and Howard in the millinery business. Uh, Sid Martin, a veteran handler and a good one, is leaning in and putting a little Vaseline on the face of the welterweight champion. On the other side of the ring, we've got uh, Dennis Moyer of Portland, Oregon. His old trainer, Danny Rodriguez, who has been with him through all his fights, is on the left. In the center is Eddie Chavez, a very fine lightweight contender of a few years ago. And Sid Flaherty, the manager of Dennis Moyer and also of Eddie Mason, is leaning in from the right. Moya was born in Portland, Oregon, August 8, 1939. Now we're coming up to round three of a scheduled 10-rounder, and it's pretty close at this moment. Griffith, the black trunks, Moya, the white trunks. that both of these boys have quick darting left hands. Griffith, however, has a very good left hook. Moyer, a good straight right. Jimmy Rondo, the referee. Griffith caught Moya leaning back that time. Three half over. Just above our Gillette microphone and cameras. One minute to go in round three. Seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Round four at the Tacoma Sports Arena. Dennis Moyer, the white trunks, Emil Griffith, and the black trunks. And a very good crowd liking the action. 
Jimmy Rondo, the referee. commissioner on the left and Dr. Charles T. Larson, the uh, National Boxing Commissioner, President of the NBA. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Every weekend is a big one for sports on ABC, the best in boxing, and tonight's Saturday sports final follows this fight. Tomorrow, ABC's wide world of sports goes to London, England for a coverage of Jim Beatty's attempt to run the fastest mile in history and back to Seattle, Washington for the Gold Cup hydroplane race and to Darien, Connecticut for the Oxridge Horse Show. You'll see it all beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, exclusively on ABC, America's number one network for sports. Round five here in the Tacoma Sports Arena. Dennis Moyer of Portland in the white trunks. Weighing 158 and a half. Emil Griffith, the Willowweight champion in the black trunks, his title not at stake. He's weighing 156 and a quarter. Right up 
into the decisive parts of the action. That was Moyer throwing that solid right. Grazing punches by both of them that time. One minute to go in round five. Now he can. Ten seconds to go in round five. Moyer, of course, has other ideas about that. Here's the bell. Sports Arena, Walter Weight champion Emil Grover, whose title is not at stake in the black trunk. And Dennis Moyer of Portland, Oregon, in the white trunk. Griffith, formerly of the Virgin Islands, now from New York. Punched by Griffith that time. Left hook. And the right. Two minutes left in round six. on Griffith's left hand that time, wouldn't let him free it. able to one-track himself in this round, probably because Griffith has stayed on top of him and taken the play away. Now 45 seconds left in the round. Beating Moyer to the punch. Moyer a little tired at this point. There's the bell ending round six. Scheduled for ten rounds. Next Saturday, the fight of the week returns to Madison Square Garden for the 10-round middleweight contest between Jose Gonzalez and Joey Archer.
Gonzalez defeated Archer June 23rd on the fight of the week in a sizzling 10-rounder. He's three for three this year, having earlier defeated Kelvin Scott and knocked out Ernie Smith. He has won 21 out of 28 fights, four by knockout. Archer's loss to Gonzalez was the first in his career. He had won 30 straight fights up to that time, seven of them by knockout. Jose Gonzalez versus Joey Archer next Saturday on the fight of the week, another feature of the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports. There's a good crowd here in the Tacoma Sports Arena in Tacoma, Washington, right near the World's Fair, and they seem to be enjoying this contest. As we come up to round seven, it's scheduled for 10 rounds. Moyer the white trunks, Griffith the black trunk. Griffith getting out ahead here in this round again. dangling again. Real, real solid punches by Griffith. crowding Moyer. Uh, Griffith is not letting uh, Dennis get a chance to shoot that jab in there. And he himself is scoring with the left hook. One minute to go in round seven. seconds to go in round seven. There's, There's round eight of a ten-rounder. Emil Griffith, Black Trunks, Dennis Moyer, and White Trunks. Tacoma Sports Arena, the scene. There have been no knockdowns. These next three rounds will tell the story. I don't know what they told Griffith between the fifth and sixth rounds, but he's been a changed fighter since then. And making more use of his very good left hook.
rushed with that, then came back with his own right hand. Griffith holding a little bit over there. About 45 seconds left in the round. Incidentally, you notice the ring announcer, Stan Nakarata, is uh, picking up the cards after each round and uh, handing them to the commissioners. There's Stan now. So they're all ready for a quick tally when the 10 rounds are over, if it goes the limit. Incidentally, we'd like to pass on our salutations to the many boxing commissioners from around the country of the National Boxing Association who are having their annual convention in Tacoma Starting tomorrow, Dr. Charles P. Loss and the eminent pathologist is president of the NBA. Many of the commissioners can be seen on camera, and we hope the folks back home recognize them. Back to the fight. It's Emil Griffith, 156 and a quarter, the heaviest he's ever been. The Willoway champion, his title not at stake. There's the bell for round nine. Dennis Moyer, 158 and a half. A normal weight for him. No knockdowns in the fight so far. Moyer of the white trunks, Griffith in black. Griffith out in the open. He keeps crowding him to the rope. Good solid punch. Got the crowd jumping now. One minute to go in round nine.
second wind. Ten seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Here it is, tenth and final round. Emil Griffith, the black trunks, Dennis Moyer in white. And they're both full of fight. This could very well be the round. There have been no knockdowns. And scoring here in the state of Washington, the 10-point must system. 10 points to the winner of a round, nine or less to a loser. An even round, they each get 10. Just a minute. Griffith, Griffith has a cut above the right eye. Griffith now has a cut above the right eye. And it's lucky for him it didn't happen earlier. Thirty seconds left. It's almost over. There's the final bell. What a good one. We'll have the decision in just a minute. findings of the referee and the judges as follows. Referee Jimmy Rondo scores it 95 Moyer, 99 Griffith. One vote for Griffith. Judge Jack Elick scores it 97 Denny Moyer, 96 Emil Griffith. And now it's one vote apiece. And Judge Sam Heller, 99 Griffith, 96 Moyer, the winner by split decision, Emil Griffith. There you have a split decision, and the winner is the Wallaway champion, Emil Griffith, on a split decision in a very, very good fight here in the Tacoma.